this is me starting another stream and is this working well it appears to be so <clears throat> excuse me this is going to be an impromptu video again and yes we've still got stuff coming up in the summer but while i'm waiting for people to log on and check this out i'll just say this is going to be one of those videos we can chat and the chat is now open and hopefully you'll be able to chat and say hi and i'll be able to watch that and see that as i'm playing this game and we'll be playing hall in one for this one the lemon amiga games competition that's just begun and a new round has just started so that means that somewhere along the line i'm going to play this game but in the meantime i'm just going to wait a little bit longer unless you know for, for people to join in and that kind of thing and i think i've got maybe one person watching at the moment so hello one person that's watching at the moment please leave a comment and while i'm doing this obviously if you want to chat about anything then do let me know <clears throat> and uh i'm sure things will obviously get better as things roll on so here we go <clears throat> and we are playing a golf game so it's going to be a simulator golf no it's not it's going to be a sports game and we're going to be playing golf and hole in one so hole in one and there's the discs i presume it's this one there's only one way to find out <clears throat> and the only way to find out is to wait and see if it fails let's see what are we running here it's not telling me 1.0 so well maybe 1.0 is going to work let's see And everything's going dark. So insert any of the courses discs from here, insert those in DF4 or DF1 and swap them around. It's supposed to work, but it doesn't practice in my idea. With this we're going to start on the classics course, and that means we're going to have a nice easy round of classic golf. in a row, maybe that's a cauldron, and there is cotton candy, which we know as candy floss. This was obviously created in America, and this will be a stretch screen and push. Let's play through, and you can see it's very nice. Four colors in the background, very real as well. We can have up to four players. Just go for one play of this and you'll be relieved to know that there's no more music again so checking out the options we check out the scorecard right away and that means that we can check out not only the scorecard but the holes as well and so pick a putter is the first one we'll be playing crazy golf so it's going to be a putting green where we get to put things 
and I see maybe two viewers now don't forget there is a chat option I can see the chat in the chat window if you want to send me any messages so these are the holes that we'll be playing and this is a scorecard this is par at the bottom so all these twos and threes mount up to 40 so you could ignore the bottom half completely the top half well the back nine manages to get a subtotal and then once we get through all 18 we'll see it all at the end and we can see whether it's par or not and scorecard for classics so by just clicking on that we don't need to close it we can just click on that to get rid of it we can cheat if we want to replay a shot or well no i think replay actually replays um what do you call it an action replay of our shot and retry of course cheats and retries i think you've got infinite retries in this game which hopefully people won't be using for the lemon amiga games competition otherwise it renders the whole thing absolutely useless and i don't want to see anybody looking at the retries so about design program charles carter graphics and music by scott cribs both of those guys apparently were american and clubs i've no idea why it says that on there club soda i guess club soda and an ashtray something like that so you get a nice top down view and these are actually hills and that is actually a hill so <clears throat> one of the things you can do we can't press any keys unfortunately but one of the things we can do if we've got a steady mouse or something like that is to try to place the ball and it says place the ball on the starting pad okay then so let's try to get it a bit nearer and of course we don't want to do any silly zigzagging if possible so it is possible to actually get it on the corner there and it is possible to aim for that hole Now we need to decrease the speed a bit because we don't want it too fast that it's going to bounce straight through it. If that happens, you'll just bounce straight through it. And really, you have to take your time in this game. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And it looks like we've now got four viewers. Fantastic. So here we go. Remember the chat is open. So with this game, I'll give you the secret. If you treat it like a putter, if we aim over here and then tap it in, that means we get it in in two shots. All two part two, that's what it says it is. But if we go on the corner, maybe we can bounce it off there, bounce it off there, bounce it off there. It does work. I'm not quite sure <clears throat> whether I can get in there. It's a really difficult shot, to be honest. Because if you hit it just at the wrong point, it'll skim it. And I've definitely done that before. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to practice trying to hit it all the way over there. And it's still too hard after all that it was still too hard so hmm let's go for it anyway i guess i completely missed it so now we're gonna have to be even more careful And now, if we bogey this in, our scorecard is going to look pretty rough. <coughs> so, what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to trace that one back. It's more or less in the middle, I'd say. Hmm, something like that, maybe. Hmm, maybe a bit too quick again. Of course, all of these holes can be done in one. And 
most of them can be double bogeyed as well. Let's see if we have any better luck with this one. And that's a hole in one. And then the stakes move up a bit. Par two. If we go over that gravel, we're going to slow down. I don't know if we can get that on a good angle. Obviously know what we're supposed to do. <coughs> but I don't actually know whether that's even possible to do that. Seem not. And the fact that the ball rolls can be a blessing and a curse as well. Sometimes you just have to take it easy because, do you know what, some of these holes are pretty difficult. And some of them are just annoying. <clears throat> so now we've got another one. Let's see what we can do. Bouncing into here isn't too bad. But then what do we do after that? I'd say it's probably better to go for that. Maybe that didn't work. Maybe you can just get lucky. This one, I think if you bounce that all over there, so it's going to come back down here. So you have to bounce it in a way that somehow maybe if it bounces off there and then it hits there. If you don't get this in the canyon it just bounce straight back and there's nothing you can do about it. And that shadow is deceptive. Because if it hits the shadow, it'll bounce back. Sometimes you can just play it safe. So we've got 24. So we're four over par. Ooh. 
and now we've got the back 18 still to go. Ella O'Donnell shot Space 91. Wow. So those are the comments so far. Thanks for commenting on the channel. So now we're going through such a magic and easy well fingers up if you know what this is going to be well this is another test so this is all downhill and this is all downhill and this is a ditch and it's a par two so hmm. the art of getting this right it's got to be somewhere like that then again that's probably too strong Let's try that. No. Let's have it there. Because I don't want to roll backwards. And it's still good roll backwards. That was pathetic. So now. I don't think. Because that's a steep hill. I don't think I can do anything. From there. I need to get it back in this chamber. Eventually, this thing will stop moving, maybe. And if it doesn't, well, it looks like a soft lock. That's very strange. Oh no, it has actually finished. So let's just try and tap it. I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to try it anyway. Part 2, I've already put it 4 already. I've got to see what this does. Ah, it does go over it. So that is a trough. No, it isn't. It's a hill. But you can go over it. Hmm. Very strange. Ah, finally. Something a bit easier. Okay, so let's tee up. And I reckon full power. Full power. Let's see what this does if I can line it up. chip it. There's no way I'm going to mess this up. I've almost messed it up. I've completely messed it up. Let's try that again. No way. Don't tell me I've done it again. That is just ridiculous. That is completely ridiculous. What is it? Oh, for God's sake. So if I hit it there, it's just going to bounce back ah, that's what they want you to do that's what they want you to do but I missed it I can't believe it put five I'm gonna try that again I missed it I don't understand I don't understand Now we go on to a river and if we tap the ball here hopefully we can get through it without falling back into that river hmm. Hmm. didn't exactly work that means I'm going to have to tap it back down here. Uh, I'm going to 
try and get it in here. And that means I probably won't get this in. I'm going to try it anyway. This is really difficult. Oh, look at that. We're in. Hmm. And now this one. Let's see. I mean, obviously you can just bash it across this hole. And if I wanted to do that, I might put that around here. Might do that maybe there, would you say? Maybe not. Alright, I'll take that. So let's go now. Is that going to work? Yes. Down the hole. And now we've got another river. Hmm. Ah, just hit that point. Now I'm going to have to hope that I can get it back through there. simple chip into the hole. So now I've got a hot dog stand you can see an oasis. So it is possible to hit this thing in a hole in one and it's just basically playing those angles if you can do. It is possible to do that. And somehow you could whack it up there, up down there, up down there, up down there, up down there, and then straight in. But I've no idea how to do that. Maybe you're supposed to follow this, and knit that, and knit that, and then knit that, like that. Hmm. Maybe that's the way. But I doubt this is going to work. Oh. Well, it goes nearer. Nearer is still nearer. Now let's uh, let's let's try and do the Stephen Hendry. It's not going to work, is it? Well, it's a good positional shot. Now, not too hard. In it goes. Hmm. So let's try, there's bound to be an easy way of doing this, bound to be an easy way, hmm, it's a bit like a pinball machine, if it bounces off there, or a pachinko thing, let's see now, hmm, you know that's pretty difficult, but it is a par 3, the only hard thing is getting it through there. And if I've placed the ball right in the first place, which I haven't, hmm, I'm going to have to move it down here a little bit. Well, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? A bit fast. Oh, look at that. Stop. Oh, no. This thing, you really have to tap it to make it go anywhere. Uh, and if you do tap it, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh. Luckily, the game will boss them out after a bit.
Now. Now, 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 now. It can't be so easy to hit that and just knock it there. Because if I hit that, what's it going to do? It's going to... Is it going to knock it over here? Anybody got any ideas? If I hit that, then it's a surefire way. Actually, that's not bad. Let's just try that. Let's just make sure, I guess. But it's going to hit it. And it is going to hit it. So let's hit it there. No, there. Uh, and it's not going to make it. It else. It's made it. Look, look at that. Ooh, that gives me some ideas. All we need to do is steer it in. And it's in. Look at that. And now we're going to something 3D. Yep. If, you, if you're just playing this, coming back from the pub, this is a 3D game that's actually 2D. We've got a rabbit, we've got a poodle, we've got some roses, and a windmill. So, first of all, let's place the ball down on the thing. Right, so, if we mistime this, the blades of the windmill will knock the ball back down. If we hit it too hard, it will go up the pipe and hit the end of the thing and come back down. And it will go back down the windmill and end up back where it started again. And if we hit it just hard enough to get to the windmill, it will knock it back anyway. So let's try it. And it didn't go back down the hole, which is pretty darn good. And that completes our first round of golf. I got 57 out of 40. That puts me 17 over. Look at that. 2, 3, 1. 3, 2, th 3, 3. I think the first one is definitely better than the second one. But look at that. Two, two, two. Three, three. What let me down? Five, six, and six. So you're looking at 150. About 50 out of 40. So it's still been 10 over. 10 over par. But it was only four. Four. Can you believe it? Four over par by the by the first one. Now, guess what? Now we're going on something a bit harder. The last half of this playthrough. And again, if you want to ask me any questions, leave those comments. So one player, two player, three player. Mighty Mouse has come to save the day. Probably nobody will remember that. So now the game moves into something else completely. Now it's a chipping competition. And now you have to, you have to hit it really slowly into some gaps. And guess what? That is particularly the worst place that I could have got myself into. Imaginable. Hmm. I could do the double, I suppose. It didn't quite work. And can I fit through there? I mean, would you believe it? 
No. Ah. What is it? A power five, and I've already done four. Let's try and inch it through. Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, no. So this is either going to hit the guy's bat on, or it's going to go in. <sighs> oh, so I'm actually getting in six. Well, so we're already one over. Oh. So here we go, number two. Now we have to hit that down the hole. And it is possible to get a hole in one, you just do maximum force and it'll bound down, bound, bound, bound and go straight in. Am I going to do that? Am I even going to risk doing that? Is that even possible from this angle? But it's just going to bounce off that stupid mailbox. Isn't it? Ugh. It's going to put me in completely the wrong place for the shot. And if I try and double it. Mm. Oh, it didn't work. So now what you find is more and more desperate measures. find gravity as the ball bounces to the bottom of that thing uh, power 4 and I've already done it in 5 well it is possible but I'm not going to do it Have one last try. And that's now demolished our chances. Now a nice easy one. Power three. Easy does it. Oh, it's still too hard. Look at that. Ah, I mean, I'm going to have to chip it back. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. It's going to bounce off that tree. Or it's going to go in that water. I don't think I can get under that tree, though. I'm going to try it, though. To get power. Oh, straight in the water, you knob. Oh, look at that. And it's still not in. Oh, now for the hardest hole of the lot. Now we have to hit the ball and whack it over that tree. I have to get it over this guy. Ooh, two there, two. Ah, uh, now, hmm. can we get it behind the basket? Is that in the foreground or the background? That's the issue. That's the issue. Hmm. Hmm. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's a power of three, so they expect you to chip it in two. Hmm. Oh no, the bat. 
basket got it. Stop. Stop. Hmm. I don't think I can get it through here. Hmm. I don't think I can get it through here. If I do, I can stop on that one. So maybe if I just chip. Ah, oh, look at that. Even a chip. It's like whacking it with a brick. I'm going to have to really go for the rebound, but I can't. I can't afford to. Oh, look at that. Whack it in. Ah. Uh. Look at that, all the stroke limit. Oh. Ah, finally, we're on the beach. So, at the beach, on the beach. How am I going to get it over there? Power five. What about? That's just going to come back to me, isn't it? That's going to come back. That's just going to bounce. Mm. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Stop! Or I keep going, whichever. Mm. That's just going to bounce off there and go there, isn't it? So that's not bad. No, it's not. Oh. Okay, all right then, okay. I'll never get it past the woman. Let's go for a rebound. No, it's hit the foot. It's hit the foot. Let's try it again. Tap it in there. What is it? Power five, and I've already hit it in five. Now, well, it went in. Nice. Space Age Yawn says, unlucky, unlucky. So, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, no, I hate this one. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. If I hit that, it's just going to go blah, 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 blah. It's not going to work. sat at home watching his rugby league with his it's four o'clock in the morning 
He's got his hideout and his course up there. The TV's plugged in. Look at the size of that CRT. Cathode ray tube. Anybody still old enough to remember them? Look at that anaglypto wallpaper. Got a toaster. No microwave. Heat extractor there. He's got his TV guide. Hmm. Drinking some kind of beer. Got his lamp on. And we've got a mouse hole. Mouse hole. Mouse hole. This is never going to work. Ah. Oh. Let's try that again. No, it's going to bounce. And atrocious nightmare says that TV is quite something. Well, it certainly is. And they've got quite some colours on there as well. I think this is a 16 colour game. And even back in the day, look at it. It looks like it weighs a ton. It probably only has four channels as well. So, let's see. It's 34 XT. Yeah, 169. I managed to stretch the screen because this was, I think, NTSC compatible. Oh, that's completely wasted. I'm sure anybody could have done better than that. Come on. Come on. No. Oh. Oh. The hole. The hole. Come on. The hole. What is it par four? So this is my final shot anyway. No nine. Oh no, I've got another one. Ah, thank you, sir. Go. So the out is thirty four. I managed to get it forty seven, so I'm thirteen over par. Wow, that's actually quite good for me. 13 over par. I think the last time I played this, I scored over 100, so I'm trying to get under 100 on this playthrough. What do you think I'm going to put in there? Under 100 or over 100? Well, me, I reckon it's going to be over 100. So let's move on to our next one. We've had Labor Day, so now Columbus Day. Here we go. It's Columbus Day. And we've got Plymouth Harbour. Christopher Columbus. And what a nice Amiga exclusive kind of effect. Hmm. So this is going to be difficult. But it is possible to hit it in one. But I'm not going to hit it in one, am I? I'm not going to hit it anywhere near one. Still going to aim for par. Because if I touch that water, it'll be a drop shot. And I can't afford any drop shots. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, it's going to bounce off the edge of that thing. <clears throat> I've had to risk it for par. So we even risk it for par. Rest it. Ooh, no, we're on 
something. Here we go. Need to go to bed. No problem, man. Check it out tomorrow. This thing will obviously be on YouTube. And I'm sure 95% of people watching this will be checking it out tomorrow. So, for everybody else who's sticking around, let's check out the next course. See, it doesn't give you enough power. Take it over there. What is it? A power six. Well, I kind of got around that corner, but I'm not, that's an advantage, unfortunately. No, I knew that was going to happen. Now, no, no. No. Get on the get on the bridge. Get on the bridge. Get by the werewolf. No, get by the werewolf. And now get into the hole. No. Uh. Now I've got a farm. Hey y'all, now we've got our farm now. We've got a rooster in the backyard. <clears throat> We've got a Quaker hat going on. A teepee. And a woodshed. If uh, I'm speaking more like an old cowboy, that's probably because that's what I was raised on. Back as a kid. With the old Jimmy Stewart movies on BBC Two. Unfortunately, I can't shoot golf for shit. Whoa, par four, par four, par four. Four. Oh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm. 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 Two. Power two. Let's get it across that frozen lake. So we need to drop it. Power two. About here. Let's see. No, it didn't bounce off his hand. Why did it not bounce off the hand? Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Mm. Oh. Mm. Nice one. This course should be par 50. I certainly agree. And so here we go. Seven days till Christmas. Now. Here we go with Santa Claus. And. I've got to knock it in there. See, that'll bounce back. That'll bounce back. Hmm. I bet there's a key place we can put it on. It's like, yeah, you just put it on Santa's nose and you get straight through it. I bet you any money. I bet you any money. Par four. Let's just hit it. Ooh, oh. uh, barely an improvement. Oh, brother. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Oh. I'm not going to get it in. Sixteen par three. Now we've got to kick this thing over the roof. Let's give it a good old whack. No, it's down in the roof again. Now it's still on the roof again. Let's try that again. No, it fell off the roof and it's now back on the other roof again. No, it didn't even go over to the second roof and now it's still on the first roof again. No, it fell off the roof into the gutter and now there's no chance for me to get it again. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Stroke limit that should have been par 50. Hole 17, we're getting there, we're absolutely getting there. Hole 17. Hole 17. No, that didn't do anything. Still not doing anything. Ooh. It's getting a bit nearer. Well, it looks like I'm going to double bog it. And now that's Christmas, so finally, all 18. New Year, baby. New York, New York. Part 2. Part 2. 
see if we can get it in. No, it's not going to go in. But it is anyway. Is anyway. Happy New Year. So there we go. That's my score on these games. I'll be playing this evening. And whenever you're watching this, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been my time playing the very first day of Hall in One for the Lemon Amiga Games competition. So I ended up with 22 over par, 88, so I did make it less than 100. Can I, well, I can change my name, print the scores and exit scores, but I can't actually save the scores. Oh well. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again in another play guide. Sometimes you. Thank you.